Welcome to part 2 of our interview with the peer construction expert Encik Karol Azhar Samsudin. Let us now listen to an in-depth analysis and explanation of how peers are being constructed for the MRT Sungai Buloh Serdang Putrajaya line. What are the construction phases of piers for the SSP line? The construction of the piers typically commence from the foundation which consists of board piles with pile caps followed by pier column and end with pier head. What factors are being taken into account prior to construction of the piers? Factors being considered prior to pier construction are Utilities affected by the foundation, adjacent building structure or river, space availability, traffic management and diversion, and last but not least, affected public or stakeholders. How are the distances between peers being built determined? The factors being taken into consideration to determine the peer distance are the social impact on adjacent stakeholders, drainage or river crossing, rails or road crossing, utilities reserved for TMD cables, water pipes, telco cable, gas pipes, and lastly but not least, other government land reserve or limitation. In the last episode of Peer Construction, Encik Karol will then explain about the processes of it and the design of these structures. 